What's up, Geeksters? It's me, Omar, from GeeksterLabs.com. How are you guys doing today? We'll have another video in our series of Samsung Galaxy S5 videos. And so this was one I just want to do a quick demo of the new power save mode that they've featured here. And so um, some of you may know that the Galaxy uh, Samsung Galaxy S5 uses 4.4.2 KitKat Android. And so uh, this is a, an option that's just recently been added. So let's go into that and let me give you guys a demonstration of what this is all about. Okay, I'm sorry, let me get that light out of the way there. There we go. Ah, okay, there. So here we have two different modes. We have power saving mode, regular, and ultra power saving mode. So we'll get into the ultra one in just a second. But let's, let's, talk, uh, let's check out the first one here. So as you see here, when you click this off, this is select when turned on. So power save setting mode, power saving mode settings right here. So on the first one here, block background data. So by clicking off this, checking out this box, we'll save battery power by blocking background data. Enabling this option may affect the performance of some applications, obviously. So you can check that one off. You can also restrict performance as well. So here it says save battery power by disabling vibration feedback, turning off the screen after three seconds instead of 10 seconds when notifications are received. To save more battery power, enable at least one relevant uh, option here. So one of the functions below. So you can do the CPU performance, screen output, turn off touch, uh, turn off touch key light, and turn off GPS as well. So you can actually pick and choose which things you want to do in order to save a little more battery power, okay? So those are the options there, and there's also grayscale mode, which will definitely save you some battery life, and that'll actually help you to, uh, it'll turn the whole screen into gray. It'll take care, get rid of all the colors, and it'll just be in grayscale. I'll give you a demo of that when I get into power save, ultra power save mode. So let's go ahead and do that one now. All right, guys, so now let's check out ultra power saving mode. So let's turn this one off right here for now. Blink. And let's get into ultra power saving mode. So obviously, this is the option you want to play with if you're like at, say, 10% battery life and you just really need to hold on to that battery because you don't know when you'll be able to charge up. That's probably more of an emergency type of situation. When we were at uh, South by Southwest and we were talking to Samsung at their, uh, their booth, they actually mentioned that if you do have 10% battery life, and you, and you engage this mode, it'll actually extend your whole entire battery for 24 full hours. So that's pretty impressive, okay? Let's see the different options that are available here. And I'll go ahead and read what, what it's talking about on the screen. It says, save battery power by applying a simplified grayscale theme to your home screen and limiting the number of usable apps. The estimated maximum standby time shows the approximate amount of time remaining while the device is not being used before the battery power runs out. This time may vary depending on your device, settings, surrounding environment, usage patterns, and actual device usage. So let's click this on right here. There we go. Ultra power saving mode. So right now I have 89% battery life. It's telling me that in this mode, my phone will go 11.1 .1 days on this single charge that I have right now on the phone, which is pretty crazy when you think about it. It says right here, it's going to change the color of the screen to grayscale. It's going to restrict application usage to only essential applications and those selected by you. It's going to turn off mobile data when the screen turns off and it will turn off connectivity features such as Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. So let's do it. Bink, I'm going to turn it on. It's going to take a couple seconds to engage, enabling ultra power saving mode. There it goes. It's still thinking. It only takes a couple seconds. So it's going to only give me uh, you know, accessibility to a couple apps. And it'll give me three spots here to pick three other apps that I want to be using in the background along with these ones right here. So save power with simple home screen and access to a limited number of apps. So phone calls, messages, internet, that's it. So down here, it's going gonna, it's gonna to show me at all times how much battery life I got. 89% battery. I still got 11.1 .1 days left to go. Sorry, it's blocking right there. So that's going to stay on there the whole time. And if I want to add an application, I can click on here. Right now, it's only giving me options for calculator, chat on, clock, Google+, memo, voice recorder. I don't have any uh, applications installed on the device. So I'm, I'm assuming a few others might show up on the list. But I don't think you would want to be picking Twitter or Facebook. Because if you're only having 10% battery life, you probably need to lay out the social media. All right? So... That's, and that's a calculator right there. So I can add a calculator and as you see, pops up in the list. And that's all there is. So if I turn this off and come back to it, see, monochrome screen, it's black and white, and that's all you get to do. You can't go anywhere else. This is the only place you can go. So this is kind of really cool. Like I said, if you, I mean, there's only so much they could do with batteries. This has, I think, a 2800 milliamp battery pack that's built into it. So this is something that's a really good option to have if you're like in an emergency situation. You're not going to be able to charge up your phone. You don't have a backup battery with you, but you need to make sure your battery will last you long enough. This is something you can easily just switch on, and it'll just run in the background, whatever whatever needs to be run, 
and then you'll save your life, save your batteries for like that shows right here, eleven days. That's pretty. So if I get stranded on a, on a desert island, I know I got eleven days left to see if I can get some signal to call someone to rescue me. So that's it, guys. If you have any questions about this feature, post them down below. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. And if you want to stay up to date with all my content, make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel as well. And uh, as always, guys, for staying up to date on all the latest tech news and video reviews, make sure you go check out geeksforlabs.com. See you guys in the next review.